Vimeo Teach, which is going to help you turn a regular whiteboard and a projector into an interactive whiteboard. Inside of your box, you will find the device that makes the magic happen, the pen that helps you use it remotely like a mouse or to write on it, your USB device, a box of the various power components, and then the USB cord. When you first get your Mimeo, you're going to first take it out of the box, the Mimeo bar. You're going to need to plug it into your computer for it to allow it to do an update after you've already downloaded the software. So to do that, there is a plug underneath for the mini USB that you're going to plug in. And then you're just going to plug it to any open USB port on your computer. And it will go ahead and run through the updates on its own. Once you have completed that, you can unplug it. And then you're going to connect it to the power source. So once your update is complete, you're going to unplug your Mimeo, and then you're going to take your USB um, transmitter and plug it into the open USB port on your computer. Then you're going to need to get your power source. It comes with a couple adapters, but the only one you need is the one that works in America. Um, you're going to just plug it, and it snaps right in. You'll hear the click. You're going to plug your USB in into one end, and then the other end into your Mimeo Teach. Uh, it should still be plugged in, so it's not that hard. You're going to plug in your USB and plug it into your power source. Then your Mimeo bar is going to go on your board and we'll readjust it in just a few minutes. But right now it's magnetic and if, it's, if you don't have a magnetic surface, then there are adapters with um, like the 3M strips to be able to attach it to a non-magnetic board. Now that the hardware of your Mimeo Teach is set up, I'm going to show you how to calibrate it and make sure that it's in the correct positioning on the board and everything. The first thing you need to do is turn on your projector. And then you're going to go over to your Mimeo bar, and you want it to be four to six inches away from the actual projected image, and as centered as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's what the calibration is for. So then you're going to take your pen, and if it doesn't already say calibration, there's a couple different ways to start the calibration. You can either hit the bottom button, you can hit the cross errors button on the Mimeo bar, and it's going to bring it back up for you. And then you're just going to follow the directions on the screen. You're going to tap the stylus to the center of each of the crosshairs. And if your audio is on, as you do this, it makes a lovely dinging sound. But you want to try to get as close to the center. Um, I know the shadow is in the way, and this is going to happen when you set it up in your classroom as well. And you just kind of have to step to the side and do your best with it. And then it's going to go back to your main Mimeo screen. If you're interested in integrating any of this technology into your classroom, please don't hesitate to contact your personalized learning leader or a member of the Learning Technologies team.